Hey, praise the Lord, Brother Clinton here. Welcome back to my office, and welcome back to another edition of Things That Are Not in the Bible. You know, there's lots of things that people in the various so-called Christian churches today are doing and saying that are not in the Bible. So if they're not in the Bible, why are they doing them? Well, they do them because of the traditions of their denomination, or the traditions of their fathers, or the things that they were taught in seminary. And one of those things that I want to talk to you a little bit about today is the, is the tradition of the pastor referring to his wife as the First Lady. The First Lady. If you look at the political system of this world, which is ruled by Satan, the god of this world, and if you doubt that Satan is the god of this world, look in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, and you will see that Satan is referred to as the god of this world, god with a little g. And he is the god of this world, the prince of the power of the air. He is the ruler of the kingdoms of this world, presently, for a time. And if you look at the kingdoms of this world, you'll see that the, the upper crust, or the elite, so to speak, of this world, like presidents of nations, when they have their, their wives present, they refer to them as the first lady. Why? It's because that's their kingdom, and they're referring to their wives as the first lady, even as a king would refer to his wife as the queen. See, that's their kingdom. It's a different kingdom than the kingdom of God. It is the kingdom of Satan. And men who belong to the kingdom of Satan and who are put in positions of authority refer to their wives as the first lady. Well, today there's a, a growing tradition of men who profess, well, I was going to say pretend, but profess and pretend to be pastors who refer to their wives as the first lady. You see this a lot in the in the Rhema Word of Faith movement, and the uh, African Churches of God, and the and the Baptist churches, and many other um, charismatic type churches, you see the pastor of the church referring to his wife as the First Lady. Why is he doing this? Well, he's doing this for a couple of reasons. Number one, because he is, he belongs to the kingdom of Satan. The church that he belongs to belongs to the kingdom of Satan. It is a business. He's graduated from a seminary and learn the things that he learned not from God, but from a seminary. And of course he was taught wrong on purpose because seminaries are owned and run by Jesuits, which is an organization that was instituted in the 1600s, or 1500s rather, to, uh, to combat the faith of Jesus Christ and to destroy the faith of Jesus Christ and bring people back under the umbrella of the Roman church, the papacy. And so seminaries are run by Jesuits in order to teach people wrong on purpose so that they graduate and become pastors of businesses that they call churches. And these people are of the devil, okay? There, there is no such thing as a seminary that is Christian. There is no such thing. No man of God was ever sent to a seminary, and no man of God would ever go to a seminary. So these men graduate from seminaries, and they learn that they are... Uh, they, they're taught that they're of the kingdom of God, but they're not of the kingdom of God because they don't know the living God and they don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. So they have their own kingdom, and they call it the kingdom of God, but it's not the kingdom of God. It is a false kingdom of God, and it doesn't belong to God at all. It's the kingdom of Satan. And so because they exalt themselves in this kingdom that they have, and they, they exalt themselves with titles like reverend, which is a title that belongs only to the living God, um, and they call themselves reverend this and pastor that and bishop this and deacon that, uh, even though the scripture says that we in the church of Jesus Christ don't call one another by flattering titles. They do all these things because they love the attention of men and to be called rabbi, rabbi in the marketplaces and to have the chief seats in the synagogue. These are the people that Jesus was talking about. And because they love the honor of men more than the honor of God, they are in the practice of referring to their wives as the first lady. And referring to their wives as the first lady is, in a roundabout way, referring to themselves as the president or the leader or the, or the head, uh, you know, the king, so to speak. And they do this because they are of the devil. And the kingdom that they have is a kingdom that they are building themselves, and it shall fall, even as a wall that is daubed with mortar. With, with, uh, with, with, uh, without mortar, I should say, it, it's going to fall, even as the scripture says that, that you know, when the people of Israel, would, they would build a wall and daub it with mortar and build it with bricks, but God would throw it down. And that is exactly what's happening in the churches today. When, when men call their wives the first lady, the pastors call their wives the first lady, you can know that that organization is not of Jesus Christ, that it is not a Christian church, that it belongs to and was ordained by a man who graduated from a Jesuit seminary, 
uh, and that the, the doctrine that he's teaching is not the doctrine of Jesus Christ. You can be assured that the organization that I'm referring to has a 501c3 tax shelter status with the government, which means that they are owned and operated also by the government, which is run by the Jesuits as well. And you can be assured that it is not a Christian church, and you should run from a place like that. Okay, no man of God would ever refer to his wife as the first lady, just as no man of God would ever refer to himself as reverend. And when you see these practices, you know that that's not some place that you should be at if you're trying to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So this has been another edition of Things That Are Not in the Bible. I hope that has blessed you, and please be blessed as you continue in the Word of God and in prayer. This is Brother Clinton signing out for now.